finishing this way. We have to lead this couple over that one and through this pocket. Many rivers use additional tubes, but for some reason I prefer to do without them. Here I will have to tuck in. And the last couple. Follow the pattern. Here they go here they go beyond the crossing. So we have to insert our tubes over behind the last stamp to crossing. There are tubes beneath this crossing and beneath that crossing as well. But there are no tubes beneath this one. So it is where uh, we insert them. As a rule, I follow the pattern to keep it symmetric. Place the brown tube on top. Symmetry remains intact. The edging is finished. Here one of the tubes has cracked, but one cannot avoid it. So we will pass it to him with uh, some glue. And I would like to note one more thing. I used to drop school glue here, and I faced uh, such a problem that I cannot cover the articles uh, with paint smoothly. And uh, the drops of glue, even though transparent ones, stand out. So recently I found pieces of advice by weavers from the land of masters, such as uh, Tanya Pavlovna, Milena Strogaya, and many other well-known authors from the land of masters. So they advise not to drop glue, but to spread it smoothly instead. And in this case, the article comes out neater. Glue spreads smoother, the tubes stick no worse, and the view is much neater. So I have tried, and I am very thankful to the viewers who share their experience, and in my turn I share it with you. And after the glue dries out, we will cut the poles tightly, but I will do it after the article dries out. And afterwards we are going to varnish it. And the article looks neat. That's all. Good luck to everyone.